right, guys. How's it going? Happy Friday. Oh, let's see. It's 11.45 for me. I'm trying to go a little early today. I, we we uh, had technical difficulty on Wednesday on the live stream. We we're trying to bring in Brian from Santiment, and it, we just, I couldn't, for some reason, we had an issue with the with the streaming software that would allow for two hosts. And so we're going to try and recreate that today. So uh, I, this may end up being two videos. I'm not sure. We're still not positive about what the issue is here but we're going to try and get brian on again uh perhaps this will be one recorded in one live stream i'm still not sure so just so you know that look look for that later in the day i'm going to move pretty quickly here because there's there's well we'll look at bitcoin ethereum and uh, maybe a, a quick peek at some alts so uh this is a current count in bitcoin this is a, a collaborative effort between uh oh, well, my team here and uh, Sensei PK, right, who I, often I turn to when we get counts that are this wacky. We, we do, it, it does appear like we've got a reasonable uh, possibility here that if, if we've gone A, B, and this is, this is some pretty fancy Elliot in here, but it's quite, quite legit. So we get a, an A, B, C into an A, A, B, tr excuse me, an A, A, B, C, D, E into a B. See, so we've got an A, a B, and now it would appear that we've got a leading diag to give us a one here. Then we get a two. Now here, this gets very tricky. There's a little diag in there to give us an A, a B, and a C to give us a three. The projection would be as we come back here to this, this fair value gap, this imbalance here, coming in for the four in this, this range here, and then back down for the fifth right now would put us right here at the 38 right here but we, well it's interesting you can see that we had a, a bounce right here at this right it seems seems to be bouncing off of that little consolidation point here it's pretty obvious to spot the by the uh, volume profile is just drawn here from the, the length of the proposed uh, third wave here and then all of this right we can see right in, in the um, in the value area and then we we poked out of the value area here bumped into this high volume node and we got this we get this bounce now you know, is it is it the support here? Is it the the Fed? Is you know whatever it is, it's a bit of a risk on uh, reaction. So as we sit here, it's just a retrace. It, it, this would be a unusual count if the low is in here. It does look like it needs one more leg down to 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 complete this, so we can finish with a five. Get a C down here. Now, if this goes too much lower, we're going to start to invalidate because as it is now, we have the extension in one, two, three, four. We'd be looking for the contracting diag here to finish this out here right at the 38 we've got another high volume node now we, we, if we get start to get down here too much lower this would be the next obvious location here we have all of this imbalance so the algo if it's if it breaks lower these will be locations it would be seeking for rebalance now just because they're there this doesn't mean the market has to come down and grab all of them so we'd like to see this indeed right if if we're gonna we're not gonna start to push up here and break some of this perhaps one more down to flush out the last last bit of any oh it's going to be a quick recovery one more time down to get everybody depressed and then then we could go one two three four five we shall see now if we come up here and we break this pivot well, the whole thing gets reconsidered but as of right now the path of least resistance does look like it's down it's lower low lower high lower low and as long as we don't do this right and get a higher high it looks like lower low to lead to the completion down here. Oh, we'll put it 55, 54-ish in that range. All right, so that's Bitcoin. We shall see, right? A little more information will be very useful. Let's pull that off of there. Uh, quick peek at ETH. It's similarly, it's a complex correction. It does look like you can work a three into a W here. X, A, B, are we done? One, two, three, four, five. Got all the ingredients. We've, we've, we, we know we have a good confirm down here. We have a good pivot since we've taken out the, the swing high here, the inducement. So that gives us confirmation that we have a low here. Thus, the break of structure. I've got the market structure on here. If this, if this comes back down, right, what's the anticipation? If, we've, we've, if we break here, we'd be looking for a retrace. So the thought is that we've got a, a, a candidate here for a good low for this to be done at the four. W, X, Y completing this final zigzag five three five gonna need to get legs here so the, and that that may turn things around if this if this is going to go up here i so you think right in the context of bitcoin if we're going up here to take this right if this if this is in and we're done here and we're going to start to go 
Well, then you got to think, well, what, what is Bitcoin going to do? If that's going to go as well, right? Who's, who's driving, right? Bitcoin will typically lead. So if we're going to go up here, well, this is going to get very, very difficult to count, but we'll, you know, that'd be a high class problem. Right now, it looks like we roll over one more time. So how would that work? Well, Uh, that could be one, right? So it, th that would all be very, very bearish. If this ends up being one rather than a C, if this is A, B, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, right? Much, much lower prices ahead. So you've got a little bit of a conflict between, the, at least technically, from an Elliott perspective, as to what we're seeing with ETH and what we're seeing with Bitcoin, which is ideally not what you want, right? So you, you, you'd rather have them both heading the same direction rather than a little bit of confusion here, which would have me reluctant to be aggressive with either at this moment in time. I think we got to wait and see how we do here, right? So if we're going to push up here and challenge that high, I don't, I don't see, I don't, I don't think the time is right now to be adding to any longs or bailing on longs and and getting short. It's just, it's just too soon. Now we, we do have a couple where th this one I've been just salivating over. So here's Link. It, it looks like we've got a good contender. It's kind of the same thing. So much of crypto, it almost looks like Link is a little bit ahead of everybody. So this here is what we're seeing, right? So, so much of crypto is, is kind of right here. Okay, what, what, what are we doing? Are we, are, we, are we doing this? Are we going to get a five over here? Well, Link seems to be leading the way down here, which suggests as we see this. Oh, here we got a little, a little wick through here, but looks like pr pretty technical. A, B, one, two, clearly an impulse. It's deep for a four. It's deep for a four to come back that far. But then look what came off of it, right? So what would you be thinking here, right? If this, if the target is down here and we're, well, you don't have a great two there, do you? One, two, three, four, extension in the five. So this is one, two. It's, it starts to suggest lower prices. If this, if, because we're starting to come back here, if we start to go this direction, we, you're kind of leaving this hanging. You go, oh, are we going to truncate here? Right. As, as I, I think most know, tr truncation is kind of a, well, let's call it a last resort. It would be, you go there last. Now you can look here and see it's all wick. So if I, if we go to a line chart, right, it's not going to look the same, right? It looks like, oh, I can, I can finish down here, but we, we've got to contend with that wick. It would keep me from, it would keep me from doing this and, and, and thinking that that's in until we break this pivot. That's not a great looking finish as it is. One, two, well, you've got one, two, three, four, and then it looks like you'd have a big extension in the fifth, and we're going to truncate. Again, that's not enough for me to go, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting long on that. I think a lot of it right, right now is a little bit of hurry up and wait. We, we've got all of the, the volatility events now are coming through, all being interpreted positively, as in we're getting more of a risk on reaction than risk off. Positive for Bitcoin. So we shall see how these uh, trade out of here. Uh, I, I don't think for the majors any any reason to be aggressively one side or the other. This is my, my view. Take it or leave it. Um, I, I thought we'd just finish up here because I'm going to keep this relatively short because I'm going to try and get Brian in whether it's we do a recorded video or we do a live stream it still remains to be seen because we're not we're not sure what the problem is to why it wasn't working uh, on Wednesday. So bit of a, a bit of a guess as to what will happen today. Um, now, I thought one thing that we would do here is just take a look at a couple of meme coins, kind of a battle of, of Doge versus Sheeb, because they are telling they're giving us mixed mix, mixed signals as well. So as, as we just went through Bitcoin and ETH kind of you know, mixed signals, right? Right. You want to be short Bitcoin and long ETH, right? It seems to be if indeed this is going to go. And if indeed, if that's going to go, it's a lot to assume that this is in because the count doesn't really support it. Okay, let's go look at uh, Doge because I think this is the more bearish. Now, there are, are alternate counts here, but this seems the, the, the easiest to get your head around initially. So the premise being that the, the this, this section right here, this ABC leads into the fifth. So we get a a shallow fifth, relatively speaking. Now, if we pull it here from the two through the uh, let's get you on there through the two through the proposed four. If if indeed this is going to hold as our two, we get right to a fifty. Don't make that target. 
But the, the broader count, while that's a little skinny and we had considered an alternate here, given the fact that I've got a pretty clear five here, well, you, you, you might look at this and say, well, what's the alternate, right? What, what, couldn't, couldn't I do it an ABC into an ABC? Well, okay, yeah, you could, but this, does that really look like a three? Looks more impulsive than corrective, right? Now, of course, that's, that, that could change, but it looks like I've got a completed impulse here, plus the geometry here is quite, quite good, right? So the channeling looks good. So if I pull this out of here and we think, okay, it's done. Well, this sure looks like I've got five coming down. One, two, three, four, five. And th that, that's probably the, the, the most accommodative because the, the alternate would be that the three is over here and the four is not in yet. And we're going to have another five down here because you can go one, two, three, four, five, right? But then the, 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 tie, the one, two, the three seems, it seems off, right? This, this looks like a better fit until forced to change it. Oh, well, this could be a little triangle in here to come down for the five. That looks like a better fit. And then if I were to draw channeling on that, uh, if I got it here, right, you can see how this would self-contain a little bit better than trying to push this out as a three, four. Now we're getting too far away from it. So th that, as I look at that, what that implies to me is the next thing up here is going to be a three into a five, right, to give us the B. And then we coming down right in, in five to get a C. A is in working on a B right now of <clears throat> certainly between the two this is the this is the cleaner looking count as it sits here right now right now remember Elliott count is always just a snapshot in time I do have some market structure on here as well so here's the last break of structure retrace another break of structure so th as we get this break of structure we do get a retrace but we don't come down to the finish the fair value gap I get another break of structure now I get a deep retrace implication would be well okay we've already swept hang on We've swept the liquidity here. So the external liquidity has been swept. So if it's going to go back up, what's it going to look for? Right? The, the algo is going to look to rebalance the, the imbalance up here at the sphere value gap, which might be a nice target for the, for the B wave. So if we pull here, looking at that is the low. Lo and behold, look how the fair value gap and the golden zone line up there as a perfect candidate for a B. Now, of course, that can change, right? We might get a pivot there and come back here and we go off and then you've got a five and then you're rethinking it. But right now, there's no reason to assume that. The assumption would be five is in for the A. Three into the B, up to rebalance, and then we're heading back down. Okay, so that would suggest new lows in Doge, right? So let's, let's compare that now with Sheeb, which would be the, the alternate here. Now, this is a tricky count. The, again, look, a little collaboration with um, my sensei, sensei PK, uh, who I often turn to when, when we're looking at tricky counts. D d f first, I, he he he, had, he reminded me that I couldn't have a, I couldn't have a ser too many zigzags in here and a sideways correction here because this this looks like a clean zigzag right here. But then we'd have to we, we can create the triangle here. So if it's A B C into a W, A B C into an X, and then triangle Y, that gives us the the three we need for the two to accommodate the, what clearly is an impulsive launch off of that. So the the big sideways, you, of course, you can also just think of it this way: accumulate, 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 launch, cause, effect. Right? That's Wyckoff. Here's the cause. Here's the effect. Now here's the correction. So as we come back to this, the sideways double here does make sense, right? No, we'll, we'll see if we're done. Now let's go, um, oh, let's go to a two hour and take a look here. This gets a little tricky. It looks like you've got this, uh, this is you know just inherent with meme coins. We've got the, this liquidation wick here and then we're going all the way back up, but we don't get a new high. So it looks like A triangle B down for the C to give me a W. This looks like A, B, and then a, fair, a, decent, a decent C for the X for the A, B, C double tube double down here which now has been swept so thus w x a b we done well that's kind of what i was talking about before uh, when, when we looked at um, i think it was link yes link where oh looks like oh could it does it need to go it, it kind of does need to go so as we come back here to sheep oh what you really wanted, you didn't, you didn't quite get it, right? You wanted, oh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I didn't get it. So this, this is starting to look like a three, which would make you second guess a little bit here. Mm. 
May, maybe a diag here, but now we've already broken golden zone here. So we've lost the algo at this degree. All right, we've lost it. Now, it just that doesn't mean that we, we couldn't rally from here. We put a 707 on that. All right, we've got, okay, we broke the 707 right between the 707, 786. Okay, well, that's, you know, that, that, that's, that's still valid. It looks like you'd have to do this as th this is clearly a three. So is that A, B, long C? But then you don't quite have a good finish here. You probably have an impulse here, but this is not an impulse. So it's a little suspect, right? So a lot, a lot of the crypto is you're, you know, you're kind of in between. Now, remember, no trade is a trading decision, right? So don't, don't feel like, oh, you know, things are moving, right? Just risk on. Bitcoin's, we're, we're back over 60 grand, so it's time to get long. Be careful of that, right? Let's let the market kind of guide us as to when the right time is. You, you, you don't need to worry about something running, running away from you. Or look at all the rebalance here that would have, this would have to plow through. Not to mention, we'd have to plow through the golden zone up there. I mean, there's plenty of resistance up here before this is going to really you know, clarify that, oh, the low is in. Now, it is interesting. We come right back to this fair value gap, right? We don't, we don't cross the center line of it with the 50% of it. So reaction, right? Good sign, right? And it's right out of the middle of this where you, you might have looked at that and said, oh, my God, there's nothing but air here. Well, we rebalance. Right? Algo spots it. I suppose if we if this if this is going to roll over here, you might be in some sort of a three three. If we if you we had to rework this, it doesn't quite work as well because this this looks like a, a completed three. This looks like it's done right. There's five three five. Okay, so if this is going to follow off with another one, mm, W X Y X Z. Well, then then we'd be thinking this is an A B, and we got another Z here. This is a little disappointing, right, for bulls. I would imagine many, many bulls that here. I don't, I don't trade either. I'll trade some Doge, but I, I don't trade this one much. It's disappointing, right? Three, 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 three. Don't, don't feel like you need to be in the market all the time or need to be adding or do, doing anything. Sometimes best best trade is no trade. Or just let the market reveal itself. I, I don't. I think this is just you're forcing here. Pretty much everything, whether it's Bitcoin, ETH, it's a lot of forcing. The one that that doesn't look like it's forced here is this one here, where it's just you got to wait. Link looks like the best setup here, but you're gonna have to wait for this. If this is one two, well, again, right? I mean, the possibility is we, we we're gonna truncate here and we're done, and then we're gonna launch here. Well, if that's the case, right? We got to break through all of this. This massive imbalance here imbalance order blocks a lot of lot of repair work to be done to get this back into a bullish bullish position so right now it just looks like it's hurry up and wait right be, just again don't force let all this volatility pass now you got apple here which is the big 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 mover today after its earnings huge gap up but that's an that's an ugly count as well Where, where's the you know, did you finish it here? You'd have to be finishing it like this. That that doesn't quite have the right look, does it? And we're going to double and double. This looks like a, just a big, we're in consolidation here. And all of this is now suspect, right? It's very easy to look at this and say, oh, this is distribution. Are we thinking that in the middle of this uh, tech AI crazy boom? Mm. Again, it just leaves me... I, I, un, unclear, right? So when you're unclear, why, why force a trade? I don't like the look of this, so I wouldn't, I, you know, maybe some option trading here, but I, I don't think you have a, enough here in anything we've looked at today, and I've looked through a lot of things today, where it looks particularly good. This is the, I, of everything we looked at here, I think this is the, the, the best count and the most bearish. So if this coming down, what's Sheeb doing? What's, what's Bitcoin doing? And who's leading whom? When in doubt, hold your powder. Okay, guys. Hopefully, uh, there'll be a second something. I don't know if it's live stream or we're going to pre-record or something. But I think that bringing in uh, Brian and his expertise with Sentiment and their product and what we can glean from some of that crypto-specific, whether it's social metrics or on-chain metrics, could be quite useful as the TA is leaving you a little bit unsure.
right? which is not uncommon, right? It's not always going to be obvious. Okay, with that, I'm going to wrap there. And uh, well, next time you hear from me, hopefully I'm on with Brian from Santiment. Okay, guys, talk to you next week.